Today I would like to share with you some tips to ace the clinical scenario station in haematology. My first one is, you should always have a broad differentials for any situation that is not confined to haematological diagnosis. For example, if you are asked about a clinical scenario where you have a patient with an AKI and a paraprotein, make sure you talk about infection, any hypercalcemia, any post-renal obstruction that's caused by MSCC or dehydration before you go into talking about myeloma. My second tip is you should be very familiar with the investigations and management of hematological emergencies. And these include MSCC, called compression or called equina, called equina syndrome, um, SVC obstruction, neutropenic sepsis, sickle chest crisis, or even pain crisis, major hemorrhage and bleeding patients. The interviewers would be expecting that you are capable of managing these scenarios. The third one is, if you are faced with a situation where you are asked about a clinical management for a hematological diagnosis and you don't know the answer to, it's perfectly fine to say you don't know, but do not stop that. You could talk about how you will find the, out the answer to these questions. You could discuss the case with your consultant, you could assess the performance data taking into account the fitness and comorbidities of the patient to help you arrive at these management steps. You could even talk to a consultant with special interest in this area or discuss it with a tertiary centre. You could run the case pass and the MDT is not only confined to hematological malignancies but there are often MDTs for hemoglobinopathies and also clotting matters as well. You can consult BCSH guidelines and read up on the latest literature on how to manage certain areas or certain diagnoses. It shows to the interviewers that you are capable and can take initiative to find out answer to manage your patients. Where to find resources to understand certain topics in hematology. These resources are even used by current registrars to do their FRC path examination. My disclaimer is there's absolutely no need to read every single page of content before you go to the interview. These are quite advanced materials, but if you'd like to find quick information and references, these are quite good places to start. The first one is the BCSH guidelines website. These guidelines are put out regularly and updated regularly. Recently, they've also put out podcasts or consultant commentaries on these guidelines. It will only take a couple of minutes before you can understand and have a snapshot of what the guidelines are telling you. The second one is himbase.com. It's a website that's created by a previous registrar, currently a consultant. He's very kindly shared his revision notes with all of us and he's continued to update these content with the current guidelines and evidence. These pages are in revision notes and point-based um, format, which is very easily understandable. The third one is your hospital guidelines. Every trust will have their hospital guidelines on certain hematology emergencies. It would be very useful for you to have a quick read of them. For example, the warfarin reversal, DOAC reversal, etc. It will show to the interviewers that you've actually read and followed guidelines in your clinical practice. In summary, the BCSH guidelines website, himbase.com, and your hospital guidelines from your own trust intranet. Thank you.